stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not beep beep beep. Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. Let me see. Uh, yeah, we can make do with this part. Beep beep beep. What's that? Is that a hint of respect for Findy? How convenient. Beep beep. Well, it was a good idea. Let's look for the next part. Beep, beep, beep! Initiating search for lost item. Minecart wheel set. Beep, beep, beep! Beep, beep, beep! As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in- Beep! Beep, beep. Inter-astral peace appliances. Your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the humanoid tactical microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call beep, beep, beep. Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. That's everything. You were a big help, Findy. Beep, 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 beep. beep. We're pr well. No, but are you gonna do it yourself? Why wouldn't I? You gotta be self-reliant down here. Watch. You might learn something. You know, I didn't think you guys had worked a day in your lives, but you know how to get your hands dirty. The cart is about to depart! The robots will have seized the road ahead by- Whoa! Stop! Uh, stop! 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 There's a big evil hunk of metal right there! That model... It's one of Svarog's lapdogs, all right. Don't be afraid. I've dealt with those robots before. <laughs> to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! We're in trouble now! <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! Could fight. <laughs> you. Rules are made to be broken. We talk. Try that again. A thousand wonders to raise. Fight as one. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Keep up! Tough luck running into me! <laughs> Here! Let's go! Gotta try hard sometime! Watch this awesome move! You couldn't have done it without me. friends. Yeah! Turn it up! Told you I could fight. Huh. Uh. Uh. 
welcome, customers. Yeah! Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! My turn! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Let's be friends! Yeah! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Seeing it up close, this veins even more. Welcome, customers! <laughs> Told you I could fight. Let's make it quick. Yeah. A thousand wonders to raise your spirits. <laughs> fight is one. Rules are made to be broken. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Friends. Yeah! Keep up! everyone is fighting over. Mr. Sparog, it's such a massive vein. I've... Calculating. Based on the average rate of excavation, this vein is enough to supply Bellabog with 231 days of energy. With them, I sense that your reason for summoning me is not the or in question. State your truth. Right. I wanted Mr. Sparag to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute. I know why you did it, Mr. Sparag. The mining team in Wildfire. They don't understand your actions. My mission is the protection of the underworld. The trust human behavior. As evidenced by their presence here. We haven't settled our final score. Sila, subordinate to Wildfire. Your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. This again. Calculation results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your thesis. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, human... But Mr. Svar... Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. And more fashionably dressed, too. Uh, hey, is he about to leave? What about the girl in red? We must leave, Clara. External variables have triggered a calculation reset. The furnace core hub requires protection. Please, Mills. Don't hit them too hard. <sighs> I was getting bored of those minions. Time for a real fight. Come at me! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! We're in trouble now! Yeah! Let's rock! Welcome, customers! <laughs> 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 
pretty good crowd today. Keep up! Told you I could fight. <laughs> Phew! Let's make it quick. A thousand wonders to raise your finest god! Friends. Turn it up. My turn. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. Rules are made to be broken. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. This is our chance. Phew. Not bad. How many of these- A lot. Which is why Wildfire has never been able to take him down. Svarog's forces are too strong. We don't have enough firepower. Clara? Don't worry about her. That girl is best pals with Svarog. She's always following behind him. He wouldn't harm her. I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Let's look for the chief. No need to look far. Nice work, Zila. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> oh, chief! Is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mines should be quiet for a while. And, uh, who are your friends here? Ah, them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. <laughs> That's quite the tone to take on our first meeting. I won't forget you in a hurry. So, you went to all this trouble to find wildfire. What help? I didn't know you'd put on. <laughs> well, this is new. This Stellaron you speak of. Never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. Really, Sampo? You might as well try the Supreme Guardian. The current Supreme Guardian is a liar who uses sweet words to deceive the underworld. She's never cared about our survival. Stop right there. I won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. Miss Overworld, my words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns and hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer. <sighs> I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the Underworld's grievances, young lady. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. Let's get back to the main topic. The name that came to my mind. Huh? Isn't Sparog Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the Underworld have knowledge of important secrets? Sworn enemy. <laughs> Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. Svarog is a cold and unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Svarog is not against wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. Hmm. 
Don't judge a book by its cover. I myself have put a few centuries behind me. Would you be able to tell? I'm familiar with over 20 long life species. None of them look like you. Uh, hey, would it kill you to play along? Robots don't forget. If Sparog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. In which case, we need to think of a way to convince Svarok to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. Uh, what should we do? We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys... Hmm. It's difficult to say. We have time. Let's get into the details of- Again? I'm starting to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. As for our Silvermane girl here, do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private. To now. Oh, you must be Oleg's guest. Yep, you've probably. Uh, not the. That's the above ground branch of the Grand Hotel. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Goethe family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. He eventually realized his dream and opened a hotel branch in the most expensive area on the surface. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Or walk around a bit more first? <sighs> time to rest again. I hope there aren't any surprises this time. That Oleg... He seems sincere. What do you guys think? Um. <sighs> don't you have something cool to say? Like, appearances can be deceiving? I don't try to disagree. But if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be- Ah, <sighs> fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I guess this is the cosmic wild west. <laughs> uh, anyone else sleepy? Uh, no, I don't. nighter before. Do you know how bad it is for your skin? I'll keep watch. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. Doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you. It's just, you're a Silvermane guard officer in the underground. 
There might be people looking to harm you. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. The Silvermane guards have a lot to make amends for down here. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Kokolia... Oh, forget it. It's meaningless to talk about it now. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Go and rest. of it all. Voice again. Such a strange dream. May as well go for. Who goes there? Show yourself. Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. <laughs> no sleep for you either, huh? The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it... Your confidence actually makes me even more worried. This isn't like helping a child make a snowball. You know... It was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Belabov. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kokolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. I don't need you to absolve me. The truth is, I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open. But the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. I approved of that decision. I never thought that the Underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. Help me change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy. 
but he knows that better than I do. Uh, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get, which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place, with someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, uh, quieter things are around you, the louder they- I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still? Whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. And the rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. <laughs> I'm grateful. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Somehow. The situation in other towns is even worse than ours. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around and causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anger isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up. I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> 
With you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit. <sighs> let me think. Uh, I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful, don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it, piece of cake. Let's go, if we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. If we hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going in? Thank you. I know it's not her. Well, Zila has, but you can trust. I'm not done yet. I should write this into my next song. Uh, today me is even more awesome than yesterday me.
Keep at it. We're here. This is Rivet Town. Everything looks familiar. Let's go, and watch your step. I haven't been here in a long time. There are... Way over there. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich... Huh. What? No. Weirdo. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivet Town's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. Careful! Enemies ahead. These aren't a uh, restaurant? He's the moment! <laughs> ha! Pretty good crowd. Let's rock! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Make it quick. Yeah. <laughs> Time for the main of Turn it up. Reach the end of the story in your own way. The facilities here seem to be in pretty good shape. Not like those of a place that has been abandoned for years. Now that you mention it, it does seem a little... There's a bunch of crates piled over there. Maybe we can find what we're looking for. Seize the moment! <laughs> Let's go! Ha! Keep up! My turn! <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. Welcome, customers! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Time for the main event. Turn it up! <sighs> Let's be friends! Yeah! Let's make it up! Keep at it. <sighs> Darn. How could they all be empty? Now even the monsters are gathering supplies? The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And if they did take anything, this place would look much messier. You mean that someone else got- It's just a guess, but there are also some footprints on the ground here. 
Hmm. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. Trouble now. <laughs> A thousand wonders to raise its finest one. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Keep up. Fools are made to be broken. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! <laughs> this song's for you? <laughs> Tough luck running into me! Welcome, customers! Broken. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Make it quick. Ha! Rules are made to be broken. My turn. <laughs> Tough luck running into me. <laughs> you. you can't run. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Told you I could fight. <laughs> Here. Try that again. My turn. <laughs> Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move.
customers. <laughs> Time for the machine. Time for the main event. Turn it up! My turn! Welcome, customers! <laughs> Songs for you. Keep up. You can't run. Rules are made to be broken. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. A thousand wonders to raise your and fight as one! Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move! <gasps> try that again! My turn! <laughs> yeah! Let's make go! <laughs> Time for the main event. Turn it up. Told you I could fight. <laughs> you. It'll take more than that. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Time for the main event. Let's rock. <laughs> Here. So this is <laughs> this song's for you. <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Keep up! Tough luck running into me! <sighs> Turn it up! The show must go on.
in trouble now. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. This song's for you. Turn it up. Tough luck running into me. yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Let's make it quick. A thousand wonders to raise and fight as one! Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! Time for the main event. Turn it up! Tough luck running into me! to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Gotta try hard sometimes! Watch this awesome move! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Welcome, customers! Let's make it quick. A thousand wonders to raise and fight as one! <laughs> Let's rock! My turn! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it!
Herrick? Hey, Brat! How could you come here by yourself? Oh, don't you know how dangerous this place is? Zila! Uh, you aren't the boss of me. I can go wherever I want. It's none of your beeswax. You took the materials and hid them all here. Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. Still stubborn, huh? Then tell me, how exactly were you gonna get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? Um... There's always a way. Let him fool you. Everyone in the underworld knows that this brat is a no good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Uh, about that. Tell us, what do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. 200. What? Uh, 200 shield? Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? Not much, but I didn't bring my coin purse. You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No! Not this time. I really need money. <laughs> My daddy... Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No! <laughs> Zila, that's enough. It's Eric, right? Here, you can have this. What? What's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer, and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. Thank you. I... But you'll have to promise me one thing. You'll never steal other people's things again. Promise? I... I promise. I'll never... Then it's a deal. If you go back on your promise, I'm going to bring my Silvermane guards with me and catch you myself. Here, take the medal and go back to the town. We already took care of any threat on the way. You'll be safe. Thank you. Whoever you are, you guys can take all of these things. Uh, you, you guys need to be careful, too. There seems to be something real scary in that house up on the hill. Oh, right. Uh, the road across from the market is blocked. If you want to go further... Got it. Thanks. That object was pretty important to you, right? Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. I must give him a chance, Zila, because other people can't. I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Eric said that we need to take the shopping street to go any further. I think I still remember where it is. This way. The 
This is the street, all right. The orphanage should be at the end. The entrance to the orphanage is up this way. I wonder what the old place is like now. Maybe some things will still look familiar. These stairs seem to have become more narrow. Almost there. <gasps> Let's be friends. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Yeah. Reach the... have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? <laughs> Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? <laughs> Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. No. No. <laughs> empty. How are they all empty? Who could have... Enemy behind you! I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. <laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare. We're in trouble now! <laughs> yeah. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! My turn! This song's for you. Keep up. Rules are made to be broken. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. A thousand wonders to fight its life. Watch this awesome move! Welcome, customers! Good crowd today. Let's go. Let's go. Huh. My turn. Rules are made to be broken. <sighs> nah. <sighs> Should be all the kids at the orphanage. I just hope the it wasn't huh. this build. <laughs> yes. Come on. this and why you gave your mother didn't someone oh, we've looked everywhere but here I hope my memory is right Yes, we 
we found it. Great. It's barely damaged. Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. You should still check the expiration date for- Hmm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? This is... This is... something from when I was a child. When you were a child? Are you sure? remember now. I, I used to live here before the architects took me away. Be, before Madame Cocolia adopted me, I used to live here. I'm an undergrounder. You're an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia... The Supreme Guardian adopted you? Then... Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the Architects. In the future, I will become the Guardian who leads Bellabog. <sighs> Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories are so... blurry. Architex said that the Guardian's successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the Overworld and the Underworld will be tested. In the end, I... I must have been chosen from among the children here and then taken to the surface. Kids at the orphanage are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Does Nat know about this? Could she have been keeping it a secret? I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy. And the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past. And thus... I became the daughter of Madame Cocolia. My only identity is that of guardian successor. But I'm not good enough. Every day I see Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum. But I've never had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The Underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the successor? Hey, are you done? Huh? Well, well, well. So annoying. I... Uh, what? <laughs> what? You thought I should feel sorry for you, after your little speech? You can hide in your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. But in the underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal, or survive to the next week? <sighs> even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Didn't you say that? Well, if you really want to protect everyone, what are you standing here crying for? Get to it! You're right. You're right. Self-pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you, Sila. Usually, when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me snap out of it. <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. 
I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? As the successor to the Guardian of Balabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be a good idea to put us together, huh? How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memories from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay. I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. I should let those two be alone for a bit. The only thing I should let those two be alone. The only thing left to find is painkiller. Danger detected. Protect Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Perkins, don't! Stop! I've seen this person before. She... she's not bad, right? Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. This place is dangerous. You should leave. I came here for these painkillers, too. There are a lot of people hurt at the Vagrant Camp. I guess the miners are no different? <sighs> if everyone could just get along, things would be easier. Mm. Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. Mr. Svarog, he... he's my family. I'm, I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Svarog doesn't trust any human... Mr. Svarog doesn't want to hurt people, but he always follows the calculations of his analysis. He thinks that interaction with humans is... Inefficient. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground. Yes. At least according to Mr. Svarag's calculations. He says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. I know that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Svarag, but no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Svarag won't change his mind. So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Svarag. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. Clara, what are you doing here? You're... Miss Sela from Wildfire. I came here to... Why are you helping the Vagrants look for medicine? If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? N no it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the Vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp, so I wanted to help them out. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. <laughs> Miss Sela, did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then, can you give me some? The Vagrant's injuries are quite serious. <sighs> I see. Let's split these painkillers then. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? 
If I know Nat, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. Great. Thank you, Miss Eula. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. It, it's fine. I have Perkins for company. And I have some more things I need to look for here first. <sighs> Understood. Be careful, though. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, painkillers. Great, that's everything. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder. I heard that thing's- It's getting late. Where to now? Nat! We're back! <laughs> That's our Zila. Nothing if not punctual. <laughs> so, did you find any usable supplies? Oh, let me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, huh. Clear, huh. If she was there too, then I understand. <laughs> I think you made the right decision. <sighs> Still- Hey, don't- Um, no need. I'll handle it. So you guys aren't that close after all? I thought you were sworn- <laughs> <laughs> You're adorable, Branya. She was obviously joking. I bet old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should go. Oh, no worries. I hope they. Already? Uh, hey, they're finally back! <laughs> That's nothing. The unannounced disappearance record holder is right here. <sighs> and that something to be proud of? <laughs> uh, it's good to have everyone back together. Let me get straight to it. Regarding the Stellaron and your predicament in the overworld, your friends have gone over both with me again. The last time I saw Kokolia, she was an impressive young lady. I never thought that after becoming the Guardian. All I can say is that I sympathize with your situation. Rest easy. Wildfire won't go behind your back on this. Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner, but at least you're offering a road forwards. We Underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now, and you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. Maybe it is, but I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the Underworld. In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. Diplomacy before violence. We should try peaceful communication first. Both your approaches have merit. 
We would always rather avoid losses and settle matters through peaceful means. Wildfire has tried many times to make contact with Svarok, without success. He has no intention of engaging with us. At our current strength, it would be incredibly dangerous to use force. Svarog's robots don't fear sacrifice, and I don't want to risk underworld lives. But things have changed. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Svarog. I may not have the full picture, but perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. That would be best. <laughs> Our scheme is coming along nicely. But I fear that Svarog just isn't the swaying type. <sighs> You'll understand when you get to his territory. Things never run smoothly down here. What about you, Miss Silvermane? You're the only one here that isn't compelled to do or die with Svarog. I'd like to hear your plan. Well, the Underworld is still a part of Bellabog. If Svarag's existence constitutes a threat to the people here, I will of course stand with you. <laughs> Excellent. An enlightened answer, young lady. And spoken like a true successor to the Guardianship. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. Let's go. I've arranged for a guide to take you to Svarag. Wildfire's relationship with Svarag has been hostile for a long... Zila, perhaps you can take... Mm, I'm on it, boss.
friend. Looking for a ticket? Wasn't expecting. So, uh, that's... <laughs> you know, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I will be your guide, friends. By order, I gotta say I'm a little. All right. Uh, my sp you know. Hey, what are you trying to say? My legacy will. Oh, uh, you know. Great. Stay clear. Lair? Many vagrant, isn't it? <laughs> what a heavy gate. Uh, okay, watch this. Open sesame. Is that a secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. Whoa, whoa. Pry it open? In front of all these vagrants and robots? Luckily for us, I've already figured out the... Me uh, certificate? Correct. Only... Honestly, it's a very... Pr a time out. Where do we get this certification? Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrant? Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is... Not a clue! <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarog suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go? It feels like the people here are all under the supervision of... Robots. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are in the This has to be one of them, right? It looks... Is it even awake in there? <laughs> Protocol. Initi... Certification fail... Huh? Are... Launching stage one processing. Who is the reigning champion of... Infernal... Sampo, do you know the answer? Sampo Gasky always knows the... Wait, uh, what? <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be dependable? Well, I don't know everything. Sometimes you gotta ask around if you want to know the answer. Don't panic. Let's listen. Please answer the following question. Incorrect answer. Certification result. Failure. Uh, you know, friends, if you don't know the answer, you don't have to pretend you do. No one's gonna laugh at you. Reassessing. Subject threat index. Hi. Initializing combat module. Threat elimination activated. Uh, combat module? This thing's faulty, right? <sighs> Wishful thinking. It's about to... Welcome, customers. <laughs> you can fight it, or rock with it. This is our chance. Yeah. Uh, phew, that was scary. It just suddenly attacked. Hmm. This button says system reset. Let's give it a try. System reset. Successful. Certification sequence. Online. Please extend your right hand. My right hand? So this is the sir. Great. Only two more steps to go. Let's move.
Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Ugh, I'm so sick of repeating this. Huh? What did this bucket of bolts just say? <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, let's get this over with. Did you get your first certification? If not, then you're wasting your time. You mean this? Here, look. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here comes your question. Listen up. Riddle me this. A my wrong simple question. Uh, can I? Huh? You wanna? If we turn you into. Let's be friends. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Keep up. Welcome, customers. Yeah. Let's go. Wait, have mercy. I'm sorry. One certification coming right up. <laughs> now we're talking. Okay, please. Not you. Huh? Me again? Huh? There you are. Only one more to go. Now, please. Whatever the case. Hmm, there's some protocol. Inish nish 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 nish. Initialization failure. Not in system rester threat elim ha! Let's be friends. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Yeah. <laughs> Turn it up. Welcome, customers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tough luck. Yeah. <laughs> Learn how to behave now. Let me try and reset its system. Certification system on. Uh, why is it always me? Right? This better work. Looks good. So yeah, I'll commend you to the ch All right. Well, let me assure Now to set the record straight with Spark. Ooh, did Gate? It looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sample, what is this? Huh? Sambo? Oh, where is he? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. Hmm. <sighs> this isn't the first time. It's that same type of robot again. Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for his barog detected. Protocol initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Oh, 
good plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. How is that going to improve our chances? Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Ms. Clara. Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? Family. Huh, weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. Hmm. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core's bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Timmy, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Recording recovery complete. Resuming exit. She went back? But we were just there. Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Um, it wasn't as fun as you think. Indeed. And that little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself. It doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well, let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. Uh, this is a big town. Where should we start? Clara said she was going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! <laughs> Time for the- Let's rock! Gotta try hard sometime- Watch this awesome move! Let's go! Welcome, customers! Let's make it quick. Keep up! Tough luck running into me! Uh, let's be friends! Reach the end of the story in your own way.
in trouble now. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Yeah. A thousand wonders to fight as one. Rules are made to be broken. This song's for you. Turn it up. My turn. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! Tough luck running into me! <laughs> My lucky day! Watch this awesome move! Turn it up! You're annoying! Rules are made to be broken. Songs for you. Let's rock. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. <laughs> you. Let's make it quick. Huh. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up. Watch this awesome move! This is our chance. Huh. <laughs> Here! Yeah. This song's for you. Turn it up! My turn! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it! Or rock with it! Let's go! Great! The more the better. Keep at it! Keep at it!
moment. <laughs> Let's go. Make it quick. Ha! Told you I could fight. <laughs> Here. Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock. to be broken. Keep the moment. <laughs> Let's go. Tough luck. Let's make it quick. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! A thousand wonders to raise your spirits! Good omens! Let's go. My turn. With me out here, how can we lose? Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Try that again. Customers are always welcome. Evil has begun. You have the worst luck running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's run. You can't run. This song's just for you. Rules are made to be broken. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Or 
talk with them. My music. Conquer us all! Let's make it quick. Better up! Yeah. You have the worst luck running with me out here? How can we lose? Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! My tempo! Let's go. Wonders to raise your finest one. Keep up. Rules are made to be broken. Could fight.
Pretty good crowd to let's rock. You can fight it or rock with it. This is our chance. Let's go. My turn. Try that again. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! This is our chance. Take this! Stay right there while I give you a present! are made to be broken. Let's make it quick. Reach the end of the story in your own way. following Clara around? These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Shh. It's about to say something. Listen. Initializing self-repair module. Initialization failure. Clara in danger. Must protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop. Target must be eliminated. Wait, does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara, she... Not good. She's in danger. 
Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. 